welcome student with the continuation with the previous video we are going to focus on geometrical isomer and here we came to know that there is a limitation for trans and cis isomerism then what happens if there is, there are three different groups are present in a geometrical isomer then what to do then we have to go for e and z notation so in configurational isomer this e and z notation is used in first case that is if there are a, at least three different groups are present so here it is a chlorine it is a methyl and it is a hydrogen so there are these three different groups are present and here we cannot go for whether this structure is a trans or cis so we cannot assign a trans and cis instead of that iupac given one notation called as a e and z so how to assign e and z what is the meaning of e what is the meaning of z so in short first of all we have to go for certain rules to assign e and z notation so first of all c e means opposite so the meaning is a latin word it is called as a integer meaning the opposite and the z it meaning the same means together that is the jussami so this e and z so when it is a opposite when we can call it as a same so depending on the priorities of the groups we call it as the same groups on same side opposite groups are on opposite side so to know this priority we have to go first assign the priorities on the basis of atomic number so we have to go for atomic number first so if the higher atomic number is there it means that that particular group or atom will carry first priority so here we will see one example so CH3 C H chlorine and this is a OH so here we have to assign the priorities so how to assign the priorities to which groups we have to compare for the priorities so here a carbon having these two attachments okay and this is a carbon having this attachment so we have to assign the priorities to the carbon having the attachments okay so here this compare between hydrogen and chlorine so you have to compare the atomic number of hydrogen and chlorine so we we conclude that hydrogen has a number one and chlorine has a higher atomic number so that's why priority goes to the chlorine that's why we are here assigning the first priority to the chlorine and second priority to the hydrogen likewise oxygen this oxygen is attached to this carbon that's why we have to consider the atomic number of oxygen and then this carbon so compare the atomic number of oxygen and carbon so oxygen has a higher atomic number that's why trans this oh group will carry first priority and this methyl group carry second priority now we have to see now we have to see across the carbon carbon double bond so across the carbon carbon double bond what we have observed on same side there is a same priority groups ok 
okay on same side there is the same priority groups or on again on here on again on opposite side there is also same priority groups so hence we can say that that one is the opposite and that one is for same so we can assign it as a z isomers so z means what same priority groups are on same side that's why this structure has a z configuration or you can say that a z notation we can assign for this structure so likewise we will see another example so in this example there is an hydrogen and there is a deuterium that is the isotope of hydrogen so we are going to compare the hydrogen and deuterium so priorities are given on the basis of atomic number if the atomic number are similar it means that in case of isotope you have to go for atomic so higher the atomic mass there will be the first priority so here this deuterium is a double heavier than this protium so that's why this deuterium will carry first priority and so here it is first it is second one and this chlorine and, and this oxygen this chlorine is a heavier or you can say that the atomic number of chlorine is a higher side then we can say that it is first and this oxygen is second side so again we are seeing across the carbon carbon double bond so same priority groups are on same side so we can say that it is z so in this example what we learn we learn if the isotopes are present then you have to assign the priority as comparing the atomic mass so again we see next example so here it is carbon carbon triple bond so in this example we will learn two main rules first let us go for assigning the priority yes there is a no isotope then we will go for atomic number so let us compare in between these two so here it is methyl and here it is ch2 group methylene group is there so next to the methylene group there is a next to the methylene group there is a methyl group then priority is goes to this ethyl group total so what is the reason so if the same atoms are present means here it is a carbon here it is a carbon these two carbons are same if same carbon if same atoms are present then we have to go for next attachment that is for here it is a methyl is the attachment and for this the carbon there is only hydrogen is the attachment so compare between hydrogen and then carbon and here this ethyl group has a 
first priority and this methyl group has the second priority. So third one is what? If same atoms are present, if same atoms are present, then go for next attachment. Then go for next attachment and compare. And on another side, there is the presence of carbon carbon double bond and here it is carbon carbon triple bond. In this case, fourth one, in this case, if double bond and triple bond is present, then priority is given to the triple bond. This triple bond carries first priority because it is considered that there is an imaginary atom that may present. So, how this imaginary atom that are considered? So, for this a triple bond, so here for this triple bond, so how these imaginary atoms are considered? So, this is a carbon carbon bond and imaginary atoms are considered like this. Means there are next two carbons, two attachments are present. And in case of carbon carbon double bond, there is only one imaginary attachment is considered. This imaginary attachment is called as phantom atom. So this phantom atom are present more or that are the imaginary atom that consider to be more in a carbon carbon triple bond as compared to double bond that's why this will carry first priority and this will carry second priority and we have to compare across the carbon carbon double bond then we came to know that different priority groups are on same side so if the different priority groups are on same side then it is called as e that is opposite it means that the opposite same priority groups are present on opposite side so it is called as a e configurational also okay <coughs> so again we will have one more example That is a fifth one. That is carbonyl group and compare this between these groups. It is chlorine, and you can see that. So in this case, there is the presence of carboxylic group, this is a carboxylic group and this is a aldehyde group. Then which priority we have to go for? So here again same, if same atom is present then go for next atom. So likewise here it is your first is a carbon, first is here also the carbon. Then next is the oxygen, next is the oxygen. But after that there is again one oxygen and there is a hydrogen. And hence we will assign first priority to this carboxylic group then this one. Again compare between this bromine and chlorine. So this chlorine has a lesser atomic number than this bromine. So bromine will carry first priority than chlorine and hence compare across the carbon carbon double bond. So there are the different groups present on the same side or the same side same groups are present across the carbon carbon double bond, then it is called as that opposite means E isomer. So it is a E isomer, and uh, likewise, there are so many examples you will find in the books in Morrison and Boyd. It is mentioned as an exercise, you can solve it. If you have a problem, then you can drop a message in a comment box. I have WhatsApp number. You can directly WhatsApp me. So in next lecture, we will go for optical isomer. So this E and Z will be asked in examination as well as in GPAT examination and other competitive examination. 
i hope student you enjoy this video if you have a good suggestion then definitely you uh, uh, put in the comment box and or in whatsapp group thank you thank you very much